Hi, I'm Avery Miller, and today I will be reviewing Lori Halls Anderson's Speak. And boy, did I enjoy this one. I enjoyed this one so much that as soon as I finished it, I finished it in Fredonia when I was visiting my girlfriend, and I made her pick it up as soon as I closed the final page. It's that good. And I loved it so much. And I'm from Syracuse, so yes, it is a bit of a... I don't know. I feel like I'm a little biased to like it, but I did really, really like it. And it's crazy because at the beginning of it, I was like, okay, well, normal anxious teen, like she did something stupid. She called the cops on the last high school party. And yeah, I mean, I would get it. I would be totally anxious and it's a horrible time to trans like go into high school with that on your reputation. Yeah, that's horrible. And then halfway through the book, maybe a little even more than halfway through, you figure out why she's actually as anxious as she is, how why she doesn't want to talk, why she it, the whole perspective on the book just completely goes out the window. And you're left with a completely new story and when I get my hands back on the book, I'm going to reread it because it's just like, I, there's so many hints of it that I didn't really think about. And it's, like, I guess the only hint I kind of picked up on was when um, the other boy invited her over to her, to his house. And she was like, oh, he wasn't going to do anything. It was just pizza. And I was like, that's a little weird. Maybe, maybe there was more to the story. And there was. And it's the next chapter right after that, actually, that it explains that, I think. And it was just, I was shocked, shocked by how much I liked this. I, and like, I've been really enjoying the books I've been reading, but it's just, like, I didn't even know anything about this one going into it. So I was, I went in blind and I'm so happy I did. I'm so happy I did. And it was, it was such a unique experience. And I just, I loved every second. Of it. I, I wrote some notes down just to, like, while reading it that I just like wanted to touch on. But, I mean, these were pretty early on, so it's like, some of them might not really even have to do with the main point of the story, because it's just completely, it changes. Alright. Alright, so, one of the main things that I noticed, just because I am from Syracuse, they were able to capture Syracuse in such an honest way, and, in, and she did such a great job, like, I have first-hand knowledge, so I know, like, the winters, yes, they're horrible here, people from Buffalo always are complaining, I'm like, no, Syracuse has it just as bad, maybe not, I don't know, but I, this is my knowledge, and I'm sticking to it, because she complains about it just as much as I do, so I thought that that was funny, um, and that's also another thing. She was able to make this huge drama of a book that wasn't always a drama. It's like a dark comedy almost. So it just blew my mind. It blew my mind. Um, all right. And so she does say, like, towards the beginning of the book, I know that this is a different time than when I grew up, but, like, the city being known as, like, oh, it's scary. And, like, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't go in the city alone at night but i used to work in the city so it's kind of like it was there were some scary things that happened but it was never like too brave and uh, definitely people now don't like look at it as much as like oh be careful if you're in the city maybe around the city in some parts but even then like it's just i don't know it's not that big of a deal but that was just another little gripe i had um it made me laugh because I don't know if this is every high school, but at least in Syracuse, I never had a good algebra teacher. And the way that she complained about hers just made me laugh my face off. It was just so funny. I was like, oh, that, yeah, that's exactly my experience. I wonder if her teacher just became my teacher in West Virginia. I know that she went to Fayetteville Manlius, which is actually, that's an, actually, no, I'll just talk about that now because... Fayetteville Manlius, I, that was where I did one of my observations. I did, I went to a middle school, so maybe it's a little different, but their middle school was, 
amazing. It was amazing. Like, I really, really enjoyed being able to like, connect with almost every single teacher knew what they were doing, and they were so professional. And they went out of the way to, like, talk to kids that they thought, like, were having a hard time, like, just a bad day. Like, I, I saw all that. Maybe that was just because I was there and I was observing, but it really seemed like these teachers cared. And I don't... I don't get the same vibe off of her uh, writing, but I do know that, like, they're, com they're two different times, and also they're two different schools, so it's like, I guess I can't really, I don't know, I'm trying to connect too much of it to my life and my experiences, but that's what I saw, and obviously she went through completely different stuff, which was horrendous, and I hope, I don't know, they're just like, I'm just I'm just flabbergasted by the book. It took my breath away, literally. Like in the book, speak. Ironic. Um <laughs> This is another minor thing that was just kinda funny to me. There's roadkill everywhere in Syracuse. It's gross, but like there's weirdly because there's so many deer here, especially in the suburbs, like she said. And it's just like the fact that she even included that, I was like she captured it perfectly. And I'm shocked. I'm I'm shocked that we never had to read this book in high school. I never, like, I would have loved. I think I would have really loved to read this because, like, uh, freshman year, if I had read that book, I was like, oh wow, yeah, someone actually understands like the anxiety of being in high school. And yeah, maybe hers was for different reasons, and like, but it did seem like at the core, like, such a relatable character to when I was younger. I, that's that's just one thing. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't seem like I was always, like, anxious or whatever, but I've come out of my shell a lot. I've come a long way. Um, one quote that I really just wanted to, I wanted to share, because this was my favorite quote of the whole book. And, like, I completely relate to it. Um, it was from Mr. Freeman when he was talking to her in the car. He drove her to her mom's store because she was out in the blizzard. Um, he goes... You'd be shocked at how many adults are really dead inside, walking through their days with no idea who they are, just waiting for a heart attack or cancer or a Mack truck to come along and finish the job. It's the saddest thing I know. And I found, like, as soon as I found, like, I kind of came to the realization it that adults don't have it all made and they don't know everything i think i realized that halfway through high school and it's just once you learn that you understand more of the empathy towards adults because they're not they're looked up they're supposed to be looked up to as these perfect human beings like and even teachers like in each every teacher has faults like everyone they're human we're human so reading that from a teacher saying that to a student just made me like yeah that's that's how we can relate like we are human we are people we make mistakes and i don't know i just i loved this book so much and i and this is coming off of the outsiders and i loved the outsiders but this book took the cake it's my favorite so far um next uh next up i got fahrenheit 451. I'm super excited about this. My mom's been talking to me about it since I started this. Um, but yeah, see you next time.